Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to make the 90 degree elbow lobster bat. This is it. This is 60mm fitting and it's got 25mm of insulation on the pipe. It's got a, a starter, three segments and a finisher. It's known as a two and three pattern. It's held together by a male and female swage, which in this case is number two, and we're fastened with rivets on either side, like this. So, let's learn how to make this template for this pattern. Let's move all the way. First of all, as always, we need to form a right angle. It's our right angle. Next, we need to put in a um, centre radius. Centre radius equals nominal bore. Nominal bore, in this case, is 50 mil, which is the inside of the pipe. And we times that by 1.5 centre radius is 1.5 of nominal bore which equals 75 mil. So we open our dividers up to 75 mil. And we pop that in just there. Like that. Right, next we need to add our diameter and to do that we need 110 mil so we open our dividers up to 55 mil and that gives us our 110 and we put that just there on the centre radius like that. Draw in the centre line. And we divide that up in the usual way. So take your dividers, just divide that up. Now we need to draw in the bend. So from this point to this point we put an arc in and from this point to this point we put an arc in. And that will give us our bend, so let's get that done. There we go. So this is what the bend looks like insulated, just like this. So what we need to do now is we need to divide this up into four parts which will give us a starter and a finisher and three segments. So one of the uh, segments we, we divide that by two so we keep our, our four parts. So what do we do now is we take a protractor and we put that in at this point here, 
on the protractor you've got a little cross just here so you can centre the lines up and you mark off so you've got 90 degrees shared by 4 equals 22.5 degrees so you find 22.5 degrees and you just put a little mark in like that and then we take that to the outside like that. So that's our bend divided up. This you could check this by opening your dividers up and walking it around just to make sure that you're at 22.5 degrees but we're just going to get on now. So what we need to do now is divide this up here into two. So you take your dividers and divide that up into two. Perfect. So that's our uh, division there, and then we take that down through that centre there. Like that. Now we need to add on for a swage. All swages are pretty different. Um, I'm using an Edward swage and a number two swage so I know that that's uh, an eighth of an inch which is about 3.5 mil. So we need to add that on as well. So we just add on 3.5 mil Put a line in like that. So that's our bend tolerance for the swage, it's about 3.5 mil. There you go, see. So now what we do is we take these lines and we take them up to that point. There are our uh, divisions, so we just rip those in. We'll do them on the bottom half as well because uh, that would give us our uh, throat. So we just draw those in as well. set up. Now what we need to do is draw in a line here and we're going to use this as the centre of our pattern. OK, 
go. Now, take our dividers, and as usual, we take one of these segments down here, one of these little divisions here. We open them up, we just check them. We say perfect, and we mark along and we'll number these. One, two, three, four, like that. So we need to put in our divisions here. So that's, we're going to need seven lines. So one, two, three. We also need a bit of lap, so if we take, say, I don't know, to do it 30 mil, so just over now to 30 mil, and just put that on the end, like that, and on this end as well, like that. Now we need to draw in lines opposite direction. Extend that line there. Just put that line in there. Right, now we're ready. So we've number these. One, two, three. Four, three, two, one. Then we take our dividers and we start at position one, which is in the centre of the pipe. So we just go like that. Just need to extend that one. Start with position one. And we put that bottom. Okay. Position one. And we do position two. Position three. And 
Finally, position four. And we put that in there. Now we need to join all the lines together, and for that, I'm going to do that in marker pen. So you can really see what's going on. So take a straight head and join them up. On the first one, we're going to take that straight through to the lap line. So go through there and through there, and then just join all these up. Similarly on the last one. And the same again on the other side. Last one again, just take that through to the lap line. There. Now the holes. We'd mark them in on line number one and we would put those in near to the edge, probably about two mil in. So you just on here, on here, on here, and on here. We'd use a set of dividers to mark those. So you put your dividers on the edge after you cut it out and just dot them. I've just done it with the pen just to show you really sort of they need to go on that outside edge. All that's left to do now is cut this out and obviously draw around it and make your pieces up. So as I said before you'd need three segments which is all this and for a starter and a finisher obviously you use just one edge like that and you use the whole pattern so it's the full width here and you take that down to the edge, mark it off and just round here and then you just mark your holes in with a pen, marker pen when you've uh, punched them out. And all that's left to do is to put it through the slip rollers, put your swages on and build your pen. And when you have done, you will form this, the perfect 90 degree elbow lobster back. And in my next video, we're going to learn how to do the throat, which is the other half, which is this. This, this would be your throat for that pattern. And that's what it looks like. And I'll do that in my next video. Please remember to subscribe and like. And until next time, thank you very much. And goodbye.